Let's look at this example. So, let me make that look a little bit better here. This is set up in the center radius form of a circle. So we shouldn't have any problems identifying the center. What's the center point? Negative three, positive one. Remember, you do the opposite of what you see here. <coughs> the radius is what? Nine over two, right? Because this guy right here, r squared is 81 over four. So when I take the square root, I get nine over two. What's a better way of looking at nine over two? Let's look at that as four and a half and see how that works out for us. So my center is negative three, one. So we're gonna go up, down, left, and right, four and a half units. So <coughs> one, two, three, four, and a half. <coughs> Please make sure you do count correctly. I probably should not have been talking as I was counting. One, two, three, four and a half, okay. Does that look about right, what you guys have? We should have this point over here at one and a half, one. This point is at negative three, five and a half, and so on. Oh, so now it looks like a circle. <laughs> Hopefully mine does not look like an egg or something weird. So it should be something <coughs> very much like that. That wasn't too bad, was it? You identify the center, you identify the radius. What do you plot first? The center, and you go up, down, left, and right, however many units that radius happens to be.